deputies here, they're taking shifts, keeping watch over Deputy Gum's house right now. There have been a lot of people in this community impacted by the sudden loss of Deputy Gum, from a local restaurant that we stopped by to Deputy Gum's neighbors. Those are the people who are keeping his memory alive and helping us understand a little bit more about who Deputy Heath Gum was. You know, these people, he, he just went to work yesterday not knowing anything, and now he's gone. Janelle could barely muster up the energy to get to work. Her smiley neighbor, Deputy Heath Gum, was taken too soon. We just hurt so bad. My husband went to work and he came home because he lost it. And I thought, oh, well, I, you know, I'll be fine. She says whenever he wasn't working, Gum and his wife Tasha were always off on some type of adventure. And say, okay, how long are you going to be gone? And, and they'd say, well, we'll be back on Wednesday or whatever. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll keep a lookout on the house. They did everything together. I don't know how Tasha is going to be able to handle that. The staff at Goody's Eatery says Deputy Gum and his fellow officers would sit at table 22 just about every Saturday. They're our guys. We knew them all and uh, always tell them, you know, be safe. And uh, it's really sad that it didn't happen this time. Janelle says the neighborhood will be doing whatever they can to support Gum's family and want the suspects to know. He's somebody's husband. He's somebody's child. You know, he's our friend. And I just don't think people have the right to do that. And if people would just come together and be more caring and loving, our world would be a heck of a lot better place to live. Adams County Sheriff's Office just wrapping up that press briefing. That photo that you saw of Deputy Gum, they just released that and said there's a special story behind that photo that they'll get ready to tell uh, whenever they are ready to do so. And I'm sure we're going to be hearing a lot more about the good that he did throughout his career. Live from the Adams County Sheriff's Substation, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. Jamie, thank you.